everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming a Q&A and answering all of your guys' questions. And I know you guys left some juicy questions, so let's get into it. The first question is how to find the right dress. So me personally, I would go based off a color that I feel confident in and also the style because that's what matters the most. And then you can go and find your theme after you find your dress. That's just what I would do. So the next question is a real juicy girl. It's what if your dama tries to ruin your day? I would tell her, girl, not today, maybe tomorrow, but not today. Don't let her ruin your day. Don't let it get to your head. Don't start anything. Just brush it off because at the end of the day, you're the main character, not her. Moving on, this question says, how to layer petticoats and pin up the trains for dresses? So we offer different bundles for your dress depending on your height and the style of dress that you choose. So I definitely recommend that you check our how to put on a quince dress video. And also for the train, I recommend for you to get an alteration and bustle up the train because if you want to feel free and be able to dance all night, that's something that you should definitely look into. How to walk in heels. So I would definitely recommend for you to break in your heels like a month in advance just so that you feel more comfortable the day of. And if you're able to, go ahead and take some modeling classes because that helps you build up your confidence and just to feel comfortable in your heels like with Javier. Next question, what are some emergency items we should have for the day of your game set? This is a good question. I would say bobby pins, safety pins, makeup touch-ups because you know you always want to look very good and um, snacks, comfortable shoes for sure just in case you get tired and your feet start hurting you want to change into your shoes no one's gonna see under your dress girl what's your favorite volume and why i have two favorite volumes volume nine for sure because i just love red it's like bold that's the one i wore in the photo shoot and also volume two because i feel like that campaign was just iconic i love what would you be doing if you weren't a model also you're so pretty Girl, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Um, I feel like I would be in cheer or something, a sport maybe, like volleyball, but I think cheer because I feel like that's more my, my zone, you know? Are there any new collections coming out soon? Oh, girl, 2024, you guys are not ready. There's new styles, colors that you haven't seen on Ginza dresses before. I'm super excited for you guys to see. Next is how do you do your model walk and modeling poses? So for the model walk, I do take classes, but if you're not able to do that, you guys could look on YouTube, see little tutorials, maybe practice as well and get confidence with it. And also as for poses, would you guys like to see a video on that? I feel like that's something that we should do. Just give you guys like different poses so you're not doing the same one over and over again. What time in advance should you get your quince dress? We do recommend a year in advance, but if it's pretty last minute, girl, don't worry, we got you. We have an in-store warehouse. We have many different styles that are available for you to take home the same day. How do you put on your quince dress without messing up hair and makeup? So what I do is, since we do put the dress on through the top, I just cover my face and my hair, and I wait to put the crown on until after. So I know in Texas, the hairstyles were a little bit bigger, more volume, the makeup was more full glam, so they did put the dress from under, but that's totally up to you and your preference. Next question is, should I have my quince in Mexico? So this is totally up to you, but if you have more family, more friends in Mexico, and it's gonna make the experience better, I say go for it. Have you ever tripped while you were modeling? Oh girl, yes I have, and I did it on my first show, Storytime Girl. It was a VIP fashion show, and I wasn't even wearing a long dress, girl. I was wearing a short one, and as I was leaving the stage or where we were walking from i tripped but good thing nobody saw but it's totally okay if you trip it's just the way that you get up that matters if you show that you're embarrassed of course people are gonna notice but if not girl nobody's gonna care are you guys going to post more royal blue dresses girl i'm reading this a week before volume 9 and 10 came out in royal blue so if that's something you're looking for definitely go check it out and go run to see those dresses because i was obsessed and i still am one of the hardest things you had to get used to being an M2K model. This one is a good one because I used to not talk before, but I'm learning to talk and be more open, get out of my shell. So this has helped me a lot. Wyoming? The next question is, how has the experience been modeling for Moda 2000? Girl, the experience has been surreal, extravagant, extraordinary. <laughs> All of the above because I have so much fun. I experience something new every day, literally. 
Next is what made you want to start modeling. So this is very funny. My sister used to model here a long time ago, girl, and I totally forgot about it until my parents got me Javier's card for modeling. And since then, it's been history. <laughs> if you had your game set right now, what theme and dress would you do? I feel like I would do more of like a royal theme. Um, definitely a color like red, but also I want to do white. So maybe both of the above, you know, mix them into each other. I'm not sure. Favorite shoe and why? This one is hard because I love volume nine, like I said, because it was in the snow, even though I was shivering. But volume two, it's like there was more girls and it was just very fun to experience. What is your favorite era at Moda 2000? I feel like the era that I'm in right now is my favorite because I've grown a lot, I've experienced more, and I'm just having more fun and I'm not so hard on myself. And this is what you guys always want to know. No, <laughs> Plans after modeling at Moda 2000. So, I have something to tell you guys. Ah, just kidding. I'm never stopping you guys. In the far, far future, I feel like I would definitely get into the medical field, you know, it's a whole other branch, girl. But we're not ready for that yet, so I'm still here. <laughs> that is all for today. Thank you guys for asking me questions. I enjoyed answering them. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.